Welcome back to the channel. So I am headed over to another meet. It's going to be at Carbon Canyon Coffee, but it's hosted by SoCal BMW LA and No Limit Motor Work. Um, it's going to be a good time. I'm going to see some old faces and new faces, so it's going to be cool. And hopefully in this video, I can get the two new exhaust setups for the G87s that I filmed. One of them is running Miltech and the other is running Eisenman. So I think it'll be cool to have a comparison and I'm not sure if that's on YouTube yet. So we made it to the meet. Let's see what kind of cars we can see. And I'm going to do a quick walk around. Starting out, we have a Supra. And I do not know which 3 Series this is. I'm inclined to say this... It's probably a 335i. It is not. It's a 328. Alright. Got a 1 Series F82 M4. Very nice wheels. F80 Legion. E92 M3. And here we have 6 G87 M2s. Some of these I actually follow on Instagram. Um, I follow him. It's an M4 right there. And then those two G87s in the blue, I filmed those. This red one's really nice. So yeah, they brought out a bunch of G87s, so it's really sick. I really like this white one as well. G80, F80. Whoa, whose Rolls Royce is that? <laughs> There's a Rolls Royce here, what the heck? F82 M4, E92 M3, another M4. I don't know what wheels, oh, almost got it. Looks nice though, very, very nice. To be honest, it's in better shape than my car. What's in it? Sick. Looking at this M6, I think this one is the one that has the V10, but correct me if I'm wrong. Pretty clean, X250. Let's go towards the back. People are already starting to leave, but we'll capture whatever's here. Okay, I just had him. I have it on consignment with him right now. Okay. Try to sell it again. So you said you might have a Would you, would you, would you, would you buy it? And this AJ is even more bulletproof. Here's the homie Z36 M3. Got a Z4 with the kit on it. Pretty clean. There's a lot of M4s here, I'm not gonna lie. There's my car. People are surrounding it low key. But yeah, the last car I wanna highlight besides this M2 Comp, this E90 M3 in the back. It's a white one, and it's a six-speed with BBSs. I knew when I saw him, I had to come over and get a quick walk around. Very nice. It's got an OEM Plus type of feel. Very, very clean. Sick. So we got the two G87 M2s. They just recently got exhaust systems, so we're gonna have a comparison between the Eisenman and the Miltech exhaust and yeah we're gonna see which one you prefer and we're gonna get the sound clip. So you're back on the channel back but this time you do have a modification on the M2 so right. why don't you give us a little breakdown of what it's going on here. Yeah so essentially as we said in the last video uh, reached out to Miltech one of our favorite uh, vendors for speed activity they provided us with a complimentary full cap back for the G87 uh, non-OPF, non-res, so OPF meaning it's the United States version, um, non-res, so we basically gutted all the resonators, including the secondary cats, all the way to the very rear. Uh, you can see right here these giant tips, these are Miltech Sport. If you look underneath here, yeah, you get in there, it's all shiny and nice, new. I wish I could jack the car up for you, but I can't, but <laughs> essentially, yeah, from the down pipes all the way through, it's a whole, it's pretty much straight piped, I mean, it's just straight just a 304 steel it's nice so before we have you do some revs uh, why don't you give us your first impressions of the exhaust system yeah first impressions are it's raw right it's very raw sounding it's very race car um i was i went into it kind of blind meaning i didn't i it's so hard to hear something online versus in person and when i heard it in person when they first revved it 
Um, shout out to European Autosource for the install. Love them. They're pretty much the only people I let touch my car personally. Other shops are great too, but um, essentially they started revving it and it was in uh, comfort mode, right? Like without, you know, Sport Plus mode or anything. And I was like, wow, that's loud. And all of a sudden he turned Sport Plus. I was like, wait a minute, did I hear the valves just like open up? And then he just revved it. It was, it was crazy. It's it's almost like a graduation from like the grumbles and the, and the burbles. It's just pops and explosions in the back. Nice, yeah. nice. So um, why don't you give us a little bit about the um, like the pricing of this exhaust system? Yeah, so pricing wise, I think it comes, I mean, don't take my word for it just because this was complimentary and we're loading the product onto our website as we speak. But this comes in at a price tag, I think on sale right now, it's just shy of 3000 mm -hmm. um, and that's non-res. I think the res is gonna come in at 37, 38 just because there's a little more components to it. It's a little more subtle, more um, refined, but personally, I like that really raw sound. That's kind of what I'm going for. Okay, all right, so let's get the sound clips and we can have you get out of here. This thing sounds insane. Yeah, it's pretty loud. What man. the heck, dude? It, it's I didn't expect it to be that loud. Yeah, it's no. like popping in my ear. Yeah, like, that's loud. That's crazy. Well, why don't you give us a little bit about your exhaust system? Yeah, so this is the Eisenman uh, twin flow exhaust. Um, picked it up at the guys at Mop uh, Bargains uh, with mm -hmm. Ron care of me. Uh, it's a cap back system so everything behind the pipes is just all uh, to gut it out as uh, on the other M2 or uh, G87. Mm -hmm. um, it's got a little bit of a muffler but it's not really a muffler it's just basically a little bit of larger piping in the back mm -hmm. so um, almost like a straight down pipe really but uh, it's got a pretty throaty sound. I'm not sure if this is going to be as loud as the Miltec um, but I'm still kind of experimenting. I just got it like a couple days ago so um, it's got some good sound, it's, uh, it, it sounds throaty, and it's got some pops to it. 